Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is American Baptist College and the Civil Rights Movement. And we're fortunate to have with us this morning to talk about American Baptist College and the Civil Rights Movement, the president of American Baptist College, Dr. Forrest Harris. And of course, Dr. Harris, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Glad to be here. And again, uh, Dr. Harris, to talk about uh, what I consider to be a very, very important topic, and that is American Baptist College and the Civil Rights Movement. Yes. And I would believe as the uh, president of American Baptist College and as a person who has been involved in the Civil Rights Movement for a long time yourself, I would imagine you would be able to give us quite a bit of information. And let's start off by uh, first having you to give us some information about uh, Dr. Forrest Harris, uh, before he became Dr. Forrest Harris, and some information about your background, education, and things that eventually led you to the presidency of American Baptist College, and then we'll talk about some other areas. Well, I'm glad to be here, and before there was Dr. Forrest Harris, I guess I must say there were my parents <laughs> okay. uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, Shelby County. Mm -hmm. I was born and raised there, uh, nine other sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. and we all felt in uh, Shelby County in Memphis in those days the segregation of that culture mm -hmm. in that time. I uh, was educated in the Memphis school system, mm -hmm. graduated from Woodstock High School, mm -hmm. uh, left Memphis and went to Knoxville College mm -hmm. in East Tennessee, and graduated from Knoxville College uh, with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology and Psychology. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, ended up being an employee of the federal government in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, mm -hmm. just down from Knoxville, as a federal compliance officer with the Energy Research and Development Administration. Spent uh, uh, nine, nine years there as a compliance officer doing what we call com uh, government contractor own compliance reviews, mm -hmm. making sure that there was parity and equal employment and opportunity of government contracted facilities. Mm -hmm and uh, it was an awarding job. And then I felt the urgency of the church calling, mm -hmm. God calling uh, on my life as it relates to uh, the, the ministry. And it came clear to me that I was being called into the ministry to mm -hmm. devote my life to it. Uh, the, they would say from the black church, the church had marked good, me. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. And particularly the minister of my childhood, Reverend Brady Johnson, good. 40 years uh, marked me in a way that I was always fascinated with the pulpit and the preaching mm -hmm. and what the preaching meant for us. And so I, I gave my life totally to that and came to Nashville to mm -hmm. prepare for the ministry. Mm -hmm. And my first stop was American Baptist, Baptist College. College. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I spent a year and a half there retooling. I had already had a BA degree from mm -hmm. Knoxville College, but I felt a need to retool. And I had heard and met some of the graduates of American Baptist College, and they were very mm -hmm. impressive pulpiteers mm -hmm. and uh, with scholarly depth and as well as charismatic mm -hmm. appeal. And I, I was really uh, impressed with them and their message, and I decided to come to American Baptist College, and, mm -hmm. and glad I did. Uh, when I was there for that year and a mm -hmm. half, uh, I was under the tutelage of people like Dr. Nehemiah Douglas, mm -hmm. Dr. Don McCoy, who was still at the college, mm -hmm. Dr. Richard Lucas, uh, both of them still at the college, and had an indelible impact upon my development in theological education. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I left there and went to Vanderbilt mm -hmm. and spent the rest of my academic training at Vanderbilt mm -hmm. getting the Masters of Divinity and the Doctor of Ministry Good. degrees. Mm -hmm. So I've been exposed now to theological education in the realm of training uh, for a number of years. After mm -hmm. I graduated from Vanderbilt Divinity School, I was pastoring Oak Valley Baptist Church in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then Vanderbilt asked me to come here to coordinate at the time the Kelly Middle Smith Institute mm -hmm. on the Black Church. I coordinated it for a year and then they asked me to be the director of it full time. Mm -hmm. And I've been the director of the Keller Mill Smith Institute on the Black Church at Vanderbilt for the last 11 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a result of that, exposed to theological education and mm -hmm. the ministry in the black church tradition. And um, that's, I, I think, kind of prepared me for mm -hmm. the role at uh, American Baptist College. Mm -hmm. You know, American Baptist College is a very, very significant organization, and especially. Uh, uh, during the Civil Rights Movement. But let's talk about the institution itself. Give us a little information about uh, the history. And I hate to uh, raise this question, uh, Dr. Harris, because we'll be coming up to our mm -hmm. commercial break. But let's start that, and then we'll continue it after the break. But let's yeah. start it off. Well, American Baptist College is one of the historic institutions uh, of the black church community and college community in higher education. Mm -hmm. It has a rich heritage. It was founded in 1924, mm -hmm. a joint venture between the National Baptist and Southern Baptist yes. as a collaborative to 
uh, train uh, ministers to serve churches in the black community. Mm -hmm. And that collaborative between the National Baptist Convention USA Incorporated and Southern Baptist continued for many years and developed a rich uh, campus life and mm -hmm. academic training uh, for ministers. Uh, recently, mm -hmm. in the last uh, several years, uh, Southern Baptist no longer is a part of that partnership, yeah. and now mm -hmm. the school is uh, fully supported by the National Baptist Convention mm -hmm. USA Incorporated. But uh, American Baptist is, uh, College is as rich as heritage is its association with the Civil Rights Movement mm -hmm. in terms of its student leadership that came yeah. out of mm -hmm. the school. Uh, John Lewis, congressman now in Georgia, mm -hmm. uh, was uh, one of our graduates, as well as C.T. Vivian and mm -hmm. many other social activists. Um, uh, Dr. Riggins R. Earl, who is a uh, mm -hmm. professor of Christian ethics yeah. mm -hmm. at ITC in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. We have produced a number of graduates who, at the time uh, of the civil rights movement, were a part of the student sit-in movement mm -hmm. and gave critical leadership to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And as a result, the school has made a profound contribution uh, mm -hmm. to Nashville and mm -hmm. to the nation and to, mm -hmm. the, to the world because it continues to to uh, be a symbol of what Dr. King mm -hmm. was talking about when he was talking about nonviolent and mm -hmm. nonviolence and the achievement of social justice. But American Baptist College yeah. is committed to theological and biblical training, mm -hmm. theological education and biblical studies for preparing leaders to mm -hmm. uh, to serve the churches in our communities. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard, uh, if we're not interrupted by our commercial break, that there are quite a number of ministers in various pulpits around Nashville and these areas that uh, are from American Baptist College. That's 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 right. Around the country, there's mm -hmm. not there are not many municipalities or cities mm -hmm. where you will not find a graduate. Uh, from American Baptist College giving leadership to their community mm -hmm. through the church. And some of the larger churches and some of the most significant churches in ministry mm -hmm. are pastored by American Baptist College graduates. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a lot of graduates uh, throughout, and here in Nashville particularly, mm -hmm. many of the pulpits mm -hmm. are uh, filled with persons who went to American Baptist College, and not only the pastors, but we have a whole lot of lay leaders mm -hmm. and other people who have attended American Baptist College mm -hmm. that uh, have given significant leadership mm -hmm. in our community. You mean when you say lay leaders, are, these are the folks who uh, might come to American Baptist College, but who themselves will not be preaching, missionary workers, and et cetera? Ex exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, we have now persons who uh, write religious literature. Mm -hmm. We have chaplaincies that uh, people have gone into after graduating from our college. And we have people giving leadership to agencies in the community mm -hmm. uh, that have a uh, social purpose and, and faith perspective. So we're preparing people for leadership at the school that go beyond mm -hmm. the pulpit Good. and leadership, but leadership in the community as a mm -hmm. whole. That's what, you know, I think that's what I wanted to uh, make sure that we understood because generally when people think in terms of American Baptist College, yes. they think only in terms of making preparation to teach, I mean to preach. Preach, but right. If you wanted to, uh, for example, become involved in some of these other areas, you also said that this is a viable institution for Viable that. institution for that. We have a solid record mm -hmm. of producing that kind of, uh, of leadership and uh, tooling people to do that. And I'm, a, I'm an example of that mm -hmm. myself as a graduate of the school, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to go into theological education at the graduate level mm -hmm. at Vanderbilt and teach there and direct the institute. Mm -hmm. I got my start in my beginning at American Baptist College as mm -hmm. I came in to retool. Mm -hmm. So there are many other persons who have found a diversity mm -hmm. of careers mm -hmm. around religious education and involvement in social mm -hmm. agencies and Christian mm -hmm. institutions mm -hmm. uh, that uh, we can train people for. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Dr. Harris, uh, we're coming up to uh, our first commercial break for the day. But uh, when we come back during the second segment, I want uh, to move into the topic today, and mm -hmm. that is American Baptist College and the Civil Rights Movement. Yes. And what I'd like for you to do with it here is to rem uh, be reminded that uh, there are so many young people uh, today who really don't have any understanding of what the Civil Rights Movement was against uh, in right. the real sense, that is uh, right. something about segregation. And so when we come back, I want you to use uh, part of this time to talk about uh, the separation of the races in the southern parts of the United States and what uh, eventually created the situation for the movement. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this uh, short commercial break. Of the show for today. 